Hey guys, Osangami here, and today we are back with Wizard 101. This is part two to our um, series, and uh, if you guys haven't noticed in the video quality, it is only at 720 because uh, I can't make it better. It's too laggy when I run in 1920, well, 1920 times 1080. It's 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 too laggy. But um, anyways, I I had I had to change the software. So. Yeah, because it made the file too big with fraps, so I had to do something else. Anyways, uh, we where we left off last was doing a tutorial on the um, what you call it, <laughs> the tutorial on um, about how to play this game. <laughs> and uh, now we are going to talk to Myrtle Ambrose, and uh, we'll be doing what he wants us to do now. Welcome to Wizard City, young wizard. Things here are not normally this hectic. There's a problem on Unicorn Way that absolutely must be dealt with before we can get you enrolled. I've an idea. Perhaps, uh, if it wouldn't be too much trouble, you might take a look. You may be able to help. It will also let you see more of Wizard City. The headmaster hands you a letter with an ornate wax seal. Please deliver this letter to Private Stilson at the Unicorn Way Gate. He will let you through. You can right. use the yellow quest helper arrow at the bottom of your screen to guide you there. This arrow is not that smart, by the way. I'm just going to do this one thing. I just want to turn it up a little bit. Okay. Um, if, if I just made it too loud for you guys, I'm sorry, but it's, it just sounded... Just been given a tutorial tip. These will occasionally appear on the right-hand side of your screen. It sounded a little bit quiet, so I just I just wanted to turn up a little bit. These are portraits that give you timely information when you click on them. All right, so we have Welcome to the Spiral. As you adventure in Wizard 101, you will encounter lots of fun things to do beyond defending the spiral against evil. At level three, you can start crafting, which we'll be doing at the end of every um, world. Uh, ow. <laughs> at level five, you can get a pet. Um, I already have one. I can get me one in next episode um i got another notification on the right uh level seven you can catch fish which i'll be doing a series sometime at level 10 you can enter player versus player tournaments i'm i'm gonna be doing something special for you guys it'll be really cool uh when we get to level 10 anyways i think we can do it at level 10 i don't, I don't remember at level 12 you can begin gardening at level 15 you can purchase a castle i'm not gonna do gardening and at level 15 Castles are very important, um, unless you just want to sell all your furniture. It's not really important, but I mean, it, it makes your um, it makes your house look nice. And um, I might do like a showcase on like houses, a series or something like that. I don't know. Um, and much, much more. Have fun, young wizard. I will. Um, I'm sorry if the uh, mic might be too loud for this episode. I am. Um, I'm testing around with this uh, with this software. It's kind of difficult. But anyways. Hello, young wizard. I am Mr. Lincoln, the registrar of Wizard City. Registrar. I will provide you with useful information to help you in your studies. All right. I apologize for the interruption, but I wanted to bring something important to your attention. If you ever have any questions about magic or the world around you, I've included some reference material in your spell book. Simply open your spell book and read over the help pages. They contain loads of valuable information. I already kind of explained everything there is to know about the spell book, so... Yeah, if you guys want to learn more in depth, then you can go through the book when you play the game. Say, you have permission to use text chat. This allows you to talk more freely to others. When you press enter, you will see the say icon. If you are in a group, you will also see the group chat icon. The message will appear above your head, and can be seen only by other players that have permission for text chat. If you're in a group and you want to say something to people nearby, make sure the say icon is bigger. To talk to your group, make sure the group chat icon is bigger. To switch, click on the one you want to use. Words that are valid will show up white. Words that are not allowed by the filter will show up red. For more details, go to the Wizard 101 website. Okay. Uh, I can just type in here like this. Except it won't show up because it's red. <laughs> And that's what will happen when it doesn't show up, like when you're not allowed to say it. Um, these arrows won't always be here. They're just here for like the first few quests to show you like where you're supposed to go. 
and um, that's this thingy. You can type and stuff, and people are like talking in there and such. And uh, yeah, Private Stilson. None shall pass. Unicorn Way is off limits. There are ghosts everywhere. You show Private Stilson a letter with Headmaster Ambrose's wax seal. Looks legit. I'll let you pass. Show this to Private Connolly in Unicorn Way. Okay. And now we go. You know, it makes sounds loud, but it also doesn't. It's weird. I am the duel master. He might be a bit quiet. If you like to learn about player versus player wizard duels, find me outside the arena on Unicorn Way. Okay. Uh, he will have multiple quests. We'll be going back to him many times. Oh my. You have entered an area with <coughs> monsters in it. If you want to safely traverse this dangerous area, stick to the sidewalks, dear. They are safe. They don't get sidewalks all the time. They kind of go away after a while. Remember, characters with a yellow exclamation point over their heads will have a quest for you. You should get them all while you can. Uh-huh. Um, we're going to talk to Diego first. Then we'll go back to Private Stilson. Oh, yeah. He also, um, you can redeem arena tickets, which when you win um, duels with other players, then you can get arena tickets or... I, I don't know. I think that's it. And then you can train for his uh, things like stun block. Uh, I get this for free since it's ice. So I'm going to train it. Uh, it's kind of useless right now, but it does block two next. Uh, block the next two stun attempts from enemies. Uh, cloak and conviction are both. There's, there's sun and star, which are astral spells, and you don't get until Celestia. Which is another world and has quite a while until we get there. And they require one training point, which we have zero right now. So... Um, we can. I think we can still get them. Just they they require training points. Oh wait, never mind. We need a rank. We need the private and sergeant. So I can get this one since I'm a private. Everyone's a private at first, and then you have to get hired to get the conviction because it's sergeant. Anyways, let's see his quest. Greetings, young wizard. I am Diego, the duel master. You have heard of the illustrious wizard versus wizard duels, yes? Yes. Any wizard can duel another wizard in the arena. Either in a practice duel or a ranked duel. And once you reach level 10, yeah. you will be able to compete in proper tournaments. To duel another wizard, you must first enter the arena. Go inside and look at the arena pedestals. Then come back to me. Alright, we have four of them to look at. So, this will take a minute. You can simply click on the practice pedestal to create a duel or to accept another wizard's challenge. Practice tools are not reported and do not affect your PvP rating, but they are a fantastic way to hone your skills. Now, I only will do practice, because ranked required, requires crowns. Holy crap, that was weird. <laughs> it requires crowns, and so will do tournaments, and I don't want to really pay for it. To compete as a ranked duelist, click on the ranked pedestal to create a challenge. Or to you have a I'm sorry, to let me do, let's just listen duelist. to this again. <laughs> click on the ranked pedestal to create a challenge. Or to accept another wizard's challenge. You have the chance to win arena tickets, which you can redeem for prizes. And every win will increase your PvP rating. However, if you lose or flee a duel, your PvP rating will go down. Mm-hmm. Alright, tournaments. The tournament pedestal will let you join tournaments, but you must reach level 10 before you can use it. You can win special prizes by competing in tournaments. I will tell you more about them when you are ready. He sounds like level 10 is and level 10 is such a far away, but it's really not. The leaderboard pedestal allows you to see your standings. It shows you how your rating compares to other duelists. Each season of Wizard vs. Wizard duels is known as an age. The length of an age is something of a mystery. Mm -hmm. Every time a new age begins, the leaderboard standings are annulled to give every wizard another chance to shine. Alrighty. Okay, so uh, I will be doing a special series with this, and um, it'll be cool. When that comes around, I will show you. And, uh, yeah. Now you know how to duel another wizard for practice or for ranked status. Don't forget to bring your arena tickets here to redeem for fantastic rewards. And remember, your ranked PvP rating lasts for an age. Once a new age begins, everyone's rating starts at zero again. Seems fair enough. Um, these guys sell stuff. 
Uh, they sell some stuff. They're level 50 only, so there's really no point looking at those. This is a Supreme Overlord. You can get their stuff. Um, I think they cost... Yeah, they cost arena tickets. I can't buy them. Quite a bit. <laughs> and, um, yeah, that's what those guys do. Uh, there's always a merchant in every street. And, um, usually, I think there usually is. And they always sell uh, different stuff. This one is kind of a crappy one, but, I mean... They sell some stuff, and it's kind of pointless to buy it right now when it costs 32 and you have zero. And you can really just get this stuff really easily and fast, so nobody really buys stuff from him. <laughs> so he's kind of useless. But uh, we'll be doing the things in there um, eventually. It'll be a special series, and it's only going to be the practice ones, because I'm probably not going to do the crown ones unless I really want to. Because it just costs real money, and I don't really want to do that. Ah, a letter from the headmaster. You're very brave to bring this to me. Be careful going farther down Unicorn Way. The street is dangerous. I've seen wizards like you go down that way and never come back. Beware. Your arrival is a blessing. Level up. We need help fending off the ghosts in Unicorn Way. Some dark forces have risen and we don't have enough guards to stop them. We would be honored if you would use your powers and chase lost souls away for us. I will. Remember that you can bring up your map by pressing the M key or clicking on the map icon within your spellbook. Boom. The map. Uh, there are two little battles right here and right there, and we'll get to those uh, later in the um, episodes here. Hedge Maze will be going there soon, and then there's Diego and all that stuff. Just everything. Arena, Unicorn Park, Lost Souls, and the Commons. That uh, Unicorn's Park right there. I mean, it's, it looks cool, but, I mean, there's really nothing to do over there. They should make something over there. The only thing you can do is fishing. Yeah. I don't know if I want to go here, because he can kill them easily. <laughs> um, they're all one-hit kill, as long as your spell works. Because um, your spells get a percentage chance. Ch chance. Uh, chance, and, um, like, I'll show you. Uh, this one's 100%, as you see right there. That's 100%. This is the amount of pips it takes. That's the that's the school. Uh, that's the damage, and then there's the name of it, and that's also and it means this is a damage spell to one person, and that shows the damage it does. Uh, we're gonna use the ice beetle, 65 to 105 ice damage, which it takes one pip, which we have, and we will kill it because that's 55 health. Um, try to think here. Uh, when you if you guys saw they they are uh, blue cards, and if they're like more to, towards blue. That means they're like a spell that you get um, from a deck, or a pet, or a wand, or an athame, things like that. They, they come from other things than what your normal school will give you. And um, if they're normal, like these ones, this is ice, like yeah, it's colored blue, and then, then it has that like gray stuff on it. Oh, I have to defeat three, I'm stupid. <laughs> um, but th that's what those do. That's what they look like to change to compare which one's which. <clears throat> oh, and this is the whole thing here. This shows the sun, eye, star, moon, dagger, key, gem, um, spiral. Those just show uh, which is which, which is who at the moment. Uh, we can't. We really have to attack him twice. That's like a first. <laughs> I've never had to t attack the same soul twice. Because, like, the same guy twice, because it's crazy. I mean, they're, like, almost a one-hit kill, but I didn't have any frost beetles, so that sucked. Longer battle this time. I don't need no frost beetle this time, because it would have it fizzles. I mean, they only have ten health. I don't want to make this go on a third round. So it's blasted again. Easy enough. Alrighty, then. We'll get to those bone cages later, and uh, you just stole my health. Dude, it's mine. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> these guys don't hurt that much. Um, yeah. As you see, some of our stuff goes away because it's, um... It's, oh my gosh, so many people. Because you're not allowed to like, click these buttons because you're in a battle. It's kind of like in Minecraft. Um, when you're in combat, you can't like do home or anything like that because you're in combat. So it's like that. There's another way you can flee. But, you know, it's like the same thing. Except you, when you flee, you lose all your mana. When you die, you lose all your health. Yeah, that's right. Because you, you, you lost all your health, obviously. <laughs> but, yeah. 
That person just leveled up. Good for him. All right. That's turn the tide for us. We'll follow your lead and get back to work. If only we knew what's causing the spread of the undead. Yeah. You should talk to Sarah Nightchant and see if he can use any help. All right. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Sarah Nightchant. How much should we get? Thirty-five experience and five gold. Greetings. Greetings. Professor Melinda Wu sent me here to see if the rumors about the fairies are true. The guards won't allow me to go out any further, but they haven't stopped you yet. Would you check for me? Just walk down Unicorn Way and see if you can find any fairies. If they attack, you'd best know how to defend yourself. This is a side quest, and as I said before in the previous episode, I'm not doing a side quest in this series because it doesn't go with the story, and, you know, there's no point doing it. Um, they are good for you to level up farther. That's a fairy queen boss. We're not going to fight them. <laughs> too powerful. Too strong. Um... But they don't—they don't go with the story, so I'm not gonna do them. I'm gonna do them off camera, so I can get my, so I can be higher in level and be better. But um, yeah, come, come here, fairy queen boss. I need, I need you. Thank you. All right, no, not a fairy queen boss. This is just a dark fairy. What am I talking about? It's a rank one elite, 115. It's gonna do more damage. We're not gonna ever use the stun block for a while because, um, they don't have stun spells for at least Krakatopia. Yeah, we won't need it for a while. I think, yeah. I actually might need to get some health. <laughs> and attack you. Okay, we're gonna blast her with a minor ice shard. Hey! I really hope you're gonna bring a dark fairy, because if you don't, we're gonna have to fight a skeletal pirate. And I don't want to do that. These guys aren't meant to be fought. <laughs> All right, one down, one more to go. We're just gonna go in this battle. <laughs> if I can get in this battle. Allow me in this battle, thank you. Someone's talking to people. All right, I'm gonna explain some more stuff in this game. <laughs> um, this button is the friends list. This actually shows uh, your online friends. And then all your all of your friends, and then your ignore friends. Yes, you can ignore people, so that's useful feature. And um, you have arrows because you can have up to 50 or 100. I don't remember which one, but you can have that many friends. And then maybe it's 25. I think it's 50 though. And then you have the uh, true friend codes and the enter friend finder codes, which allow you to get like true friends, and you basically um, can find each other easily. But you're only meant to use that for people who you absolutely trust. You can invite a friend to a group, and then the close button. That is an interesting spell. That did a lot of damage. I should probably pro what? I should have probably gotten in here with some health. That was a mistake. So I'm going in here, almost dead. I'm gonna attack the beetle. Uh, oh wait, I want to find out what they're gonna do. You have that many pips, why don't you attack? When you're doing nothing in the battle, it actually does all this like sparkly stuff going on. Hey, you fled. It does all the sparkly stuff going on, and um, yeah, you're gonna blast him. We're gonna get, I'm gonna get another dark fairy. So then we only have one left. But it does all that stuff and basically means that like, you should be doing something, you know. But yeah. And around here, um, I should have probably mentioned this, around the, around each of the enemies, as you see that one is gone now, because that shows their health. Each time you attack them, it'll show their health, and then they'll go down to zero, which like that, you see it's zero and stuff. It means they're dead. And it kind of lets you know that that person's almost dead, or that person needs to be healed, or let's all go for this person, and stuff like that. Then also shows what they are, which is sun, and then shows their name, health amount 84, he's almost dead. And then the amount of pips, and then their school. Same with all of them. And it also shows which one you're going to attack, which is dagger. And it shows what spell you are. And you can also go over it and look and see what the spell is. And his is a blood bat, 770 to 110 myth damage. He's a myth guy. So, yeah. <clears throat> I really need to get more health. And you fizzled. <laughs> it's rare that you fizzle in the early stages. Hmm. What that? 
Might have been why I fizzled. Usually if you do two of the same spell in the same battle, one of them is like bound to fizzle. Alright. I only have blast. Because, well, I have three more cards. Maybe it'll just blast after that. I don't know. He's doing a blood bat too. So if it does, if it does work, then it would, the fairy would die. It also shows the same, um, the same stats on the enemy as well. Just on the opposite side. You can change your uh, thing too if you don't want to have that spell. We're both gonna blast. Are you kidding me? Fine. Alrighty. Another one bites the dust. Uh, let me go. Thank you. I don't want to be in another battle. Um, I will get a mount and the pet in the next episode for you guys to uh, let you know on that. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> I should probably explain something while we're walking there. I, yeah, let's do that. Uh, this button is the compass, which will show you where you're going to go. Like, this is going to the commons. And that's also the arena. It's showing where it is, and um, that's cool. Uh, this is like your experience bar, as Ambrose has already told you. As well as shows what the quest is named and that you're currently going for. And then you have the home button. The main, you get, brings you to the main area of the world. And then also mark location will mark where you're at. And then you click that button again. This button will bring you back to that location. So if you're going from long distances, it'll help you get back to where you wanted to go. Unicorn Way is swarming with evil fairies? They have been corrupted just as I feared. You couldn't even change them back by defeating them? Oh, that's really bad. I only fought two. Apparently, evil forces at work here in Wizard City. Some dark element has emerged despite Ambrose's attempts to keep us safe. Thank you for letting me know. I must alert the others. My friends Boom. always tell me I never leave well enough alone. Level up. But this time, something foul is afoot. I'm sure of it. You can help me get to the bottom of this curse upon Wizard City. Do you know Lady Oriel, the Seraph? She might understand what happened to the fairies. Speak with her in the hedge maze at the end of Unicorn Way. Alright, I'm going to cut when we get there since it's a very long distance from right here to there. So, uh, we will be right back when we get there. Alright, we are back. I forgot to get the Prospector's Eat quest. And, um, basically he will show you where all the smiths are at. And uh, basically, the smiths are like little small guys like this, or like there are a bunch of other things that he'll tell us to go find throughout the spiral. And you get a training point for it and some golden experience sometimes. So uh, they're they're pretty good. And training points are used just to get more spells and whatnot like that. So um, that's one of them. He's right here for you guys to go find. And uh, yeah, let's go back in. Also, when you mark a location, it does take some of your mana away. Uh, the higher your mana is, the more it will take away. So, be wary of that when you mark locations. Oh, praise the light! Someone has come at last! Something has been corrupting my fairies. Since you have come in my hour of need, use this in future battles. Thank you for coming at this dark Treasure card. time. If you are as brave as you look... I know you will help save my fairies. Please go out to Unicorn Way and defeat some of these evil fairies. Collect the dust that they drop. With that, I will be able to tell more about their corruption. I know it is a dark task, but it must be done. Take care, young wizard. These are collecting quests, dark fairies. Uh, you get collecting quests every so often, more often when you get higher up, and what you have to do is you have to uh, defeat them and then you have to collect their stuff and when you get higher they barely ever drop it so it, it's very tedious and um yeah oh wooden chest uh she just got it but um i'm gonna go over here <laughs> wooden chests are basically um these chests that get, when you open it they contain some gold or I think treasure cards as well, and you get some stuff out of it. And they, you get more stuff when they, uh, when you get higher up. And uh, there's also silver chests, and the silver chests basically can contain a lock, and you have to open the lock, and 
it, it's like a puzzle basically and then you get some gold and treasure cards or reagents and stuff like that and treasure cards are usually are used and they're a one-time use card so and they're usually unique and they're not like things that you can normally get from your school so they're they're pretty cool looking too so i, I don't really use them use them because i don't really believe in them because uh, they I, I don't know but uh i'll show you the game menu here as you guys might be wondering you can select it with the left click as it's showing you and discard it by basically doing this and then once you discard a card you can draw a card a draw like a treasure card from your deck I don't have one right now. Um, well, I do. I will. Um, what, what will happen is when, once you uh, discard the card and you click draw, it'll draw a treasure card, and then you can use that treasure card. So that's cool. We're gonna battle this person. <clears throat> you fizzled. Yeah, fire and storm usually fizzle a lot. That's why when you get new gear, you can get axery uh, axery bumps up and stuff. So it's good. Um, you also can pass. Uh, this shows the amount of cards that are left. This is one of 12 cards that are left in the deck when you uh, discard another one like this or use another one. Uh, when you flee, um, it'll basically send you back to the main area without any mana. And uh, yeah, so let's just attack the final thing. And we should win this here. Well, I think we'll only need to do one more battle since this was two fairies and we need to do one more. Yeah, that's right. And she'd be dead. Alright. One more fairy to go. I think I've almost explained everything. Now, I'm going to keep in mind, this is not everything. This won't be happening all the time. Like, th this is just the beginning where I have to explain everything there is no which there's so much at the beginning but once you get higher up like when we get to Crocotopia or Marleybone I don't be much to explain it'll just be basically me battling these guys doing quests and yeah that's about it there's just a lot to explain in the beginning this game is pretty big <laughs> I really don't need the stun blocks man this is too many things just go away <laughs> this guy brought in another fairy he wanted to be in a battle with me I guess hello person but yeah, okay. Now, I may miss some stuff since there's a lot to explain in this game. So, I'm sorry about that. But you can really look at the entire game and how to play it all by playing it. As well as looking at it on the website. It's always down in the link in the description for you guys to check out. But, uh, yeah. Ice Beetle! To Destroyer. And the fire flare thingy blast. Boom! Alright, back to Lady Oriole. She's not that far. We don't need to cut this part out. So. Oh boy. Um, I think we only have one more quest with her, which is to do the bone cages. And then we have another quest, because these bone cages will, like, free stuff. All right, in we go. I think we get a card. And no, we get a, we get a card after um, another quest. You have returned with the fairy dust. Please give it to me so that I can investigate the reason for their corruption. Lady Oriel looks visibly shaken. They have been enchanted by something that is undead. This does not bode well. How has evil become so brazen in this place? These are dark times indeed. Okay. I have heard that someone has hung bone cages along the street. I fear these are being used to trap my fairies and corrupt them. Please, you must Card. free the captured fairies from those horrible bone cages before they become corrupted. Go quickly, my friend. Alright, this is gear. I forgot to put on the other gear. Um, we have a frost touch cap as well as a stone stained hat, which we don't want to use that since it's fire and we're the opposite, so it's kind of pointless. Um, we're going to put on the frost touch cap. And then we also have no robes yet. Don't worry about that, we'll get to that in a minute. Frost touch shoes, 2% uh, ice dam uh not damage, uh, defense, and we'll equip that too. And now we're gone. <laughs> um, and now we have our gear on, which it looks different and it kind of matches pretty cool 
There's a fairy queen boss again. And we just have to get four of these bone cages and then we can head our way back and then we'll be basically done with Lady Oriole. This card is actually very useful and you guys will see what it is in a minute. It's very useful for low levels anyways. Because you get higher, it's not, it's, it's not that powerful. Oh, wooden chest. Let's go get this so then I can show you what it does. <laughs> Alright. You open it and, you got, and I got 13 gold for it. That's basically what it does. Alright. Uh, we need a fourth bone cage. I don't know where it is. <laughs> these should respawn, because these things... Oh, there it is. These things do respawn eventually. And I need to go grab it. Just walk away from that dark fairy. I do not want to be next to you. <laughs> I don't want to get another battle with you. Alright, back to Lady Oriole. Uh, these these uh, things, 20 gold, 75 experience... It's not that much right now, but when you get higher, you get like 4,000 experience, up to like 30,000 experience. It's crazy. Same with the gold. I think the highest gold I've seen is like 10,000. And the gold doesn't get super high, but I mean it's high. Joyful voice calling your name. Hello. Thank you for helping out the fairies. They did not mean to be evil. But the corruption made them do bad things. Now there is hope again, and the fairies will be able to bring magic and cheer to the people of Wizard City once more. Thank you, young wizard. I'm just gonna get where you want me to be. It's a little bit off key, but you know, it, it, it's it's pretty close. All right, we just freed those fairies. We thank you, young wizard. The freed fairies have already told me of your heroism. Your deeds will be remembered here on Unicorn Way. And to show my appreciation, here is a healing spell. Remember to add it to your deck so it will aid you in your time of need. Boom, Pixie. Find out who is behind the corruption. My fairies whispered of a monster whose bones made a clacking sound as it came for them. Saren Nightchant knows Unicorn Way very well. He will know if there is a sinister skeleton that now haunts my street. Alright, I will cut once we get there. And, um, yeah, we are back. Alright, we are back to Siren Night Chant. Um, before I talk to him, let's talk about the spell that we just got. This is a pixie. It costs two pips. It is a life spell, and it's a 100% chance. And, um, it heals you. 400, uh, health for self only. If you were a live person, you'd get this spell too, but you would also, but it would um, heal for anyone, and I think it does 450, so it gives you a boost. Lady Oriole sent you to investigate the corruption of the fairies? I will gladly tell you what I know. When the dark fairies began to show up, I had suspected Lady Black Hope, but even she has never tried to enchant fairies before. Then the fairies gave report of a skeleton? Of course! Who else could it be but Rattlebones? Since I grew up here, I know a lot. I do not know yet what Dark Master has aided him, but Rattlebones has taken over my old friend Delia's tower. Find him in the tower and stop him from making any more cages. Please, do what you can to save the fairies. We get 100 XP, 13 gold, boots, wand, and a mount. So yeah, that, that's pretty good. Uh, it's another long distance. I'm just gonna leave a marker here so it's faster to get there. So, uh, we'll be right back once we get back to Rattlebone. And we are here. Uh, there is usually a sigil sitting there, which I will, we will get to that soon. Um, basically what it does, it'll show four people, and he's gonna talk in a minute. Hold you on. cannot stop us, wizard. The corruption of the fairies is just the beginning of Malastar's plans. Soon, Wizard City will fall, and there isn't anything anyone can do about it. Ah. <laughs> Alright, there's usually four people in the sigil, which allows you only four people can go in there, and no one else. And uh, once you go in there, we're going to kill Rattlebones first. He has 135 health. He's a rank 1 elite death. We're going to defeat him first, but once four people can only go in there at once, uh, no more. Uh, there can be one or less, and uh, uh, that usually just makes it easier, so then there's more people going in the battle to help you out. And um, that's basically what that does. We don't get one yet because it just wants to do the first two boss battles, like uh, alone. So then it shows you how it works. It shows you what you do in here. Then we'll bring the sigils in. 
This will kill it no matter what. 65. It's an overkill. Oh, or not. Never mind. It fizzles. Whatever. I don't, I don't even want to do that. Death Trap does 30% more death damage to me when it uses a death spell against me. And that's a 40% more uh, damage to a life spell. That's a blade. Okay, now I can't even... I can't even. <laughs> this is not good. What if I run out of spells? That would suck. Because, I mean, I can't even get that many spells yet. Because <clears throat> I know the fairy takes three... Oh, it dies with blasts, and then the rattle bones. We have like four more blasts. We might be able to do just all blasts if we don't get any more beetles. Good, we got a beetle. I'm gonna keep one fairy in case I need it. And we're gonna blast a lot of bones again since we have 65 health. I mean, 50, 65. 15 health. And he's dead. Bye bye, rattle bones. And the fairy is going to attack me with the scarab. A biggie. It doesn't do that much. I didn't even feel it. That's three pips. I mean, that's a lot of pips. But I got like a lot more. <laughs> Alright. I should be able to blast kill it. I think. Fire cat. Alrighty. Are you going to go down with my um, minor blast? Peace. And let's see what they have to say. You've just received an egg in your backpack. It's not a pet yet, but you can mouse over it to see how long the egg will take to hatch. Once it hatches, you can equip Sorry. it just as you would any other pet. You know, I've never gotten a pet from this dungeon before. It's now in my backpack. I want to see what that thing looks like. Oh, I can't. Six hours. These some of the things do take time. They, they actually go up to about a day. Oi, mate! It looks like you just found something really unique. Well done! You defeated a boss monster. Boss monsters drop unique treasure, so you might want to fight them multiple times to see what you get. I mean, you can, but it's kind of boring. <laughs> but you do can get some pretty good loot. And we're just gonna pour it back. That's what happens when you uh, use the marker, and there, there it is. It's amazing. All right, back to Serum Night Chant. You did it! Now the fairies will sing again. You bested that wretched skeleton rattle bones. I wish that was the end of our troubles in Wizard City, but I'm afraid a more sinister evil is still out there. Oh, well, thanks to you, Wizard, Unicorn Way is in less danger than it was. But we are still not out of the dark woods yet. You should report our progress to Headmaster Ambrose. The news about Rattlebones may help him determine what doom has come to Wizard City. We just completed one whole street. I mean, these ones aren't complete, but we completed the main quest in one whole street already. Uh, these boots aren't as good because they don't do 2%, so we're not going to use that. I mean, this, these ones, this is good, but they all have a percentage on it, like the wand, and now it's gone. Let's go look back at this. Uh, what else did we get? We got a mount. Uh, this mount isn't as good either, so I kind of got a bunch of crappy gear out of that quest. Uh, the mount isn't as good because it's only for one day. It's not a permanent mount, and I'm going to have a permanent mount when we uh, play it, when we use this. Um, when I get it on the next episode, so it's, it'll be better. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, goodness. I forgot to mention the Go Home button. In Wizard City, all students have the ability to return to their castle or dorm at any time. You will need to wait a short time between uses, though. The Go Home button is located in the lower right corner of the world map, or under your compass. You can use either button any time to go to your dorm or castle, as long as you aren't in combat. And basically, the, he just said the same thing just about combat, except I sort of said the same thing too. <laughs> so, I, he just explained it again. Um, as you can see right here, this is actually your pet mana, and I don't think I was allowed to get that to level 5. I'm not even level 5 yet. But, um, the mana is basically, uh, what you have to use to, uh, uh, train your pet, and it takes one or more, uh, when the higher you pet you get, so, like, for example, when it becomes ancient or something, it takes, like, eight, and it gets higher and higher, so it's crazy. 
But that's about going to do it for this episode. In the next episode, we'll be going talking to uh, Merle Ambrose, and uh, we'll be doing whatever he wants us to do. We do get a potion. That means we can heal ourselves instantly and our mana instantly. So uh, that's amazing. And uh, we'll be doing that next episode. So if you guys enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And um, that's about it. Wizard101 is down in the description below for you guys to check out. And uh, yeah, bye-bye.